In this episode, we tackle some small projects. I upcycle the stairs. I correct a design flaw by Janot in our galley. And we do some branding on the boat with the decals we bought back at the Annapolis Boat Show. I'm Patricia. And I'm Dave. We sold our house. And in April of 2021, we took delivery of a brand new Genoa 440. Since then, we've been outfitting and upgrading the boat with everything we will need for the cruising lifestyle. We've been learning to sail here on the Texas coast, so come join us for the adventure. So part of getting smaller is using things up. We had a couple of small things of stain left in the storage unit. So Patricia decided that she was going to stain our dock stairs and hopefully make them waterproof enough so that they'll last because it's not really treated lumber. So here's her working on it. Um, I didn't decide, Dave Ballin told me to. <laughs> well, she mixed the, the two stains together. Yeah, it's looking pretty good, actually. Yeah. Pretty color. Hey, where'd that come from? Use it up. Okay, after staining the steps, we realized they were way too slippery when wet. So we got some of this safety walk stuff to put on the steps, just like that in the picture. But I'm going to cut it down to uh, probably 16 inches each and do two rows on each step just so we don't break our butt. Um, so I'm using this pineapple juice can for a template to um, round the corners. So hopefully they don't peel up that easy. Beautiful. <laughs> okay, so now I'm outside. I cut my strips almost identical. And I decided to go with three because two wasn't going to be enough. So the instruction said to use alcohol if it's stained. So I got my bottle of alcohol here and I'm going to wipe down the area so these things will hopefully stick good. <sighs> that doesn't look too bad for an amateur. Yeah, not too shabby. All right, today I have a uh, project that I'm going to do. Uh, it's not a very big one, but it's one that I've been wanting to do for a while. Um, let me show you what the problem is first. This is our sink, and what happens is water will splash up here on the outside of the sink. And it tends to run down here, and it'll run down. There's nothing to stop it from running down and straight into our pantry area uh, we also have a storage area under here so what we've been doing is just kind of keeping a paper towel up here and soaking up whatever water comes in um, what we want to do is a more permanent solution and we're going to cut this and uh, put it in line here so that the water hits this barrier, can't go any further, and then we'll still be able to clean it up, but we don't have to worry about it going into our pantry area or spilling down the side or anything. All right, success. After a little bit of Dremel work and uh, some fit and finish, I think I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, Patricia will probably pick with it later because she thinks my caulk lines are a little bit uh, out of the, uh, norm but uh she's a good picker so she can she can deal with it here's what we got we just wait for it to cure and uh this should solve the problem of the water flowing this way into uh the bins so we're getting ready to put the cavu sailing cavu on our uh, boom and i'll show you what i did to uh prep it so what I did was I measured the center of the boom. I've got a mark there. 
and then I've uh, just put a reference line on the boom so I can match up the top of the decal. And the boom kind of has a curve to it, so I picked the flattest spot. And then I did the same thing here. I've got that mark match up, and then kind of got a, a pencil line drawn on the paper so I can kind of line it up and uh, keep it straight. So Patricia read the instructions. And I watched the, the YouTube video on it. Um, I'm a little nervous because it's like, I feel like we only have one chance to get this right. Yeah, we do. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get it right. Yeah. So what we want to do, we want to spray this. Well, you take this off first. Yeah, but then she's going to spray it. No, he said don't get this part wet. Take it off first. Oh, here it is. They have like, they got this little clip. Okay. And this is the part we need to spray. You don't want to get it. You don't want it to come off. Hold it. Or this side. And then, oh yeah, then you spray. We got these at the show from Island Boat Lettering. I'll put a link in the description for them. We really liked working with them. They're very experienced and they were extremely helpful in the design of this. The hardest part was getting over the impending doom if you messed up, but as the project progressed, the satisfaction of success prevailed. So we got it all smoothed out and now it's supposed to sit here and dry and it depends on how long it needs to dry and it'll dry but uh, so far so good. Oops. We repeated the process on the other side. Much better the second time around. <laughs> so Patricia says we have to wait 30 minutes and then we're going to peel this off. My biggest tip for the peeling off step is take your time. You may have small imperfections and this is the time to deal with it. According to their website, some small bubbles may disappear when exposed to the heat of the sun others you may have to take a small pin prick to. The final step was adding the YouTube logo and by this time we were old pros at this.
Here's the finished product. Subscribe to follow our journey as we prepare Cavu for cruising, and we will see you next time.